For a very special occasion today. We're going to award the Purple Heart to Specialist Timothy Griffin. It's a very important occasion for us. Any other soldiers in the formation wearing a Purple Heart? Okay, so just a couple. So this is a mark of distinction. We want to make sure we take time to honor his service and recognize him. Joining us today are uh, Specialist Driscoll's family, James and Catherine, uh, his mother and dad, and three of his five siblings, three of his five siblings, Jenna, Hannah, and Ryan, came all the way from Orland Park, Illinois, which I don't know where that is, <laughs> but uh, came all the way from Illinois here. Anybody who knows uh, Special Driscoll's story understands that you know, here's a young man who joined the Army in a time of war, he trained as combat engineer. Oh! deployed to combat, and was injured in combat. He still is dealing with the effects of that injury today. Happened over a year ago, about 21 months ago, I think. Yes. He was injured on, uh, I believe, the 5th of January, 2011, in Afghanistan by an IED. That's the kind of enemy we're fighting today. You look at him right now, he doesn't look like he's injured. Because what he really symbolizes here is what we talk about all the time. We always talk about resiliency. Resiliency, what does that mean? What it means is that right there. It's a soldier standing tall in front of his formation. It's a soldier still dealing with some of his issues. But you know what? Every indication that I get is that this is a young man with a great outlook, a great attitude, and serves as a role model for you. Because if he can do it, you can do it. He's also joined today. Where's Rambo? No, she's back. Uh, she gets frightened by a lot of noise. She doesn't sure. like crowds. Okay, <laughs> he's got his uh, his uh, assistant uh, uh, service dog there, Rambo, who helps him through that. But it's important to understand that what we're doing here today is we're not celebrating Tim's injury. Okay, we're celebrating the fact that he's with us still here today, and he just like you guys. He's one of those heroes that people on the news and people out in the public talk about all the time. But doubly so, the fact that you continue to soldier on makes you that much more special. Now, you know, we all see sometimes on the news that uh, sometimes the Army bureaucracy doesn't catch up the way it should. We still see World War II veterans receiving their Purple Heart to Bronze Stars. It took a while to get to him. And that's okay, because what I really believe is it was delayed so that I could come here and have the honor of presenting it to you in person. Okay? So you can blame me. <laughs> All right? As I said, Tim is still dealing with some of the issues from the, uh, from the uh, blast. Okay? This is also an example of there's a lot of people we're trying to take care of and do it in the right way. So Tim's going through the medical evaluation board process, and we hope we're near the end of that. And we believe that that process will result in us taking care of him for his service. And each one of you who serves our nation, and especially those who are wounded, deserve that kind of care. And so once again, uh, before we uh, make the formal presentation, Tim, I'd like to thank you for your service, your continued service, and I want to thank the whole Driscoll family. 
you raised a hell of a son, okay? And I want to thank you guys for welcoming Tim back into the ranks and allowing him to be that, that peer leader that he is. Cool? Cool. Okay, without further ado, let's do this. Battalion! Company! Not Kate! How was she orders? Attention to orders. By order of the President of the United States of America, the Purple Heart, established by General George Washington, is awarded to Specialist Timothy D. Driscoll for wounds received in action on January 5th, 2011. Signed, John McHugh, Secretary of the Army. Ready, be careful. 